Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to install the Google Chrome remote desktop client and that way you could control another computer over the internet or over your network, however you like to do it. So in order to do that you're going to have to install some software and an extension on both computers that you plan to uh, use or if you do it more than com two computers, every computer you plan to use. So for this demonstration we have this Windows 11 computer, that's going to be the one we're going to control and we're going to control it from this Windows 10 computer. So this Windows 10 computer is already good to go uh, with the extension and software, but we're going to install it on this uh, destination one that we're going to control so you can see how that works. So we'll open up Chrome. Let's do a Chrome Remote Desktop. So this one's already, this user account already has one set up a different computer that has been controlling. So when you do this, make sure you're using the same profile or the same Google account on both ends, otherwise your computer's not going to show up, and I'll show you that too. So there's software, and there's the extension, and you don't have to use Chrome, I believe, because you could install Google extensions on Edge, so if you want to try that, you could see how that works for you. So we'll click on this, and it brings up the Add to Chrome Google extension, which is kind of weird because you would think... Um, it's going to install the software, so it's kind of tricky the way it does it. So let's add the extension first. Make sure you get the right user account. Add extension. Okay, so now that that's done, if this doesn't pop up right here, then you could get to your extensions here, click on this, and then it'll bring up the uh, software part of it. So like I said, the extension you can install first. Click on the extension here. Click on that, then it'll bring up the window to uh, download and install the software. Okay, so it's going to open this MSI file, installer file. Okay, so now the name of the PC, so let's call this, uh, this is Windows 11 Pro, so well, let's keep the, uh, now we'll, we'll change it. So I might have another one with the same name there. Okay, so this is the name of the computer that you're installing it on. So when you access it, this is what you're going to be looking for. So make sure this is descriptive so you know what you're looking at. And then a PIN number, at least six numbers. And then you could uncheck that if you don't want uh, Google to collect information. Let's see what I'm doing here and click on Start. And then you can save the password if you want. Okay, so it's starting. Another user can control prompt to allow changes to your device. Okay, so now you can see I have this Win 11 Pro starting on this computer. And now it's online. Okay, so this is the destination computer. We installed the plugin, we installed the software. Configured a pin, so now it's online, ready to be connected to. So now we're going to go to the other computer. Go to Google Chrome. Make sure you're signed in with the same account. And then actually I have a shortcut up here, Google Remote Desktop. Okay, so now you can see that we have the Win 11 Pro, which we just configured. Then we have this Win 11 Home, which is another computer that I have configured for Remote Desktop, but it's turned off, and that's because that's this guy here turned off. Okay, so, okay, go, let's go back to Win 11 Pro here. Let's uh, get something on the screen to look at. Uh, let's open up a browser here. Let's just go to like a, okay, so we got this web page open here for dog breeds. So let's go back over here. Let's, let's start the connection to our other computer. The pin that we configured. You can have it remembered if you want to do that. And right there if you want to have it remembered as well. Okay, so now you can see we got the page here and then there's a little box here. We could stop sharing so and it matches here. So if we were to click on or just scroll down or actually just go back to... Uh, Another dog. 
let's go back here so you can see it updates. And so now if we want to control this computer, let's say we want to close out the browser here, and let's open up a file explorer and the app store, or Microsoft store, I should say. <laughs> okay, and then we go back here. We can see everything matches. So we're technically on this Windows 10 computer controlling this Windows 11 computer as if we're sitting in front of it. So like you say, it's pretty simple to set up, so just make sure you have the uh, uh, extension and the software installed on both computers. You're logged in with the same Google account, and then just create your PIN, and then you'll have them uh, ready to go. So now, now if I go back to my, let's go back to the computer here. Close this out. And you can click on Stop Sharing if you want to stop. And now it disconnected it from there. So now what happens if we log in with a different account here? Now you can see with this Google account, we have a different computer uh, configured. So like I said, that's why you have to log in with the correct user that you configured for both computers there. Otherwise, you're not going to see your available computers. Okay, so just once again, install the extension, install install the software, you know, just do a search for uh, Chrome desktop support, and then put in your pin, and you should be connecting remotely. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.